Welcome, traveler, to the world of Eternum. Your journey here may have been fraught with danger, but you're safe now on solid ground. Join us as we take you on a tour of some of the most important locations in Eternum. Meet some of the inhabitants, both friendly and not so friendly, and advise you on how to put your best foot forward in this strange land. Towards the south of Eternum lies Windswood, a lush grassland filled to the brim with natural resources. Whether you're gathering wood for the fire, stone for the smithy, or water for your food, Windswood will provide. Your first port of call in Windswood will be the main settlement. It's a small town situated near the center of the region with a small river cutting through the middle. To the north of the river, you'll find the forge and outfitting stations to craft new melee weapons and clothes. Make sure to check in with Magistrate Kurapati while you're there. She's proud of her settlement and she'll want to meet any new visitors. If you need a place to rest your head, make sure to check into the Southern Breeze, Windswood's Inn to the south of the town. Innkeeper Suen is happy to take in all travelers. You'll also find a tannery on this side of the river, just down from the workshop, where you can craft your own ranged weapons or make some furnishings for your home if you prefer. The peace and tranquility of Windswood Town may be tempting, but adventure awaits beyond its walls. To the north of the town lies the Amrine Temple, a mysterious hub constructed by the ancients, surrounded by giant, mysterious stone spheres. There are rumors of great treasure within, but even greater foes guard it. New arrivals to Windswood would be wise to steer clear of this place. Do stop by and say hello to Barkamedes, however, the poor hound seems a mite lonely and would surely benefit from some quality time with a kind traveler. For those less interested in ancient mysteries and are instead looking for a chance to prove their might, the Windswood Fort lies to the northwest of the region. Here is where you will engage in all-out war for Windswood as rival factions battle for control of the land. Those defending the fort will find the main gate heavily fortified with enormous repeater and ballista turrets to cut down your enemies. Be aware of the rear of the fort, however. There are fewer turrets to defend with and several small entryways for aggressors to slip through. So make sure your allies are keeping their eyes on all corners. And watch out for invading forces approaching from the nearby Octon's monolith as it could spell death to defenders. But, as with all of Eternum, a darkness lurks here. You'll also find many farmsteads scattered throughout Windswood, but be wary. These farms have long since fallen to soulless creatures known as the Withered. Pay close attention to the regurgitators among their ranks, which will throw poisonous bile at you from a distance. And avoid straying too far to the edges of the territory, where the corrupted are gathering in great numbers. The local wildlife isn't much friendlier. Hunters will find rabbits, elk, and bison roaming the land, which will make for a fine meal. But tawny wolves stalk the forests to the north, while deadly pumas prowl the caves of the south, and neither take kindly to strangers. And if you want to explore the ancient pastime of angling, be sure to speak with Master Fisher Shields, who can be found casting his line not far from the Windswood settlement. Windswood may be a space of natural beauty, but it hides many mysteries and dangers. Take heed of our guidance, however, and you should be more than equipped to deal with whatever may stand before you. Whether you're gathering wood for charcoal or animal hides for leather, we'll see you out in the fields of Eternum.